Welcome back to Boom and Bust. I'm your host, Tony Clement, here with the Honorable Joe Oliver and Sandra Pupatello as we discuss the state of the economy in Canada. Uh, I'm going to go back to last month, uh, Joe and Sandra, and talk a little bit about some of the commentary that followed the visit by German Chancellor Schultz to Canada. Uh, was there a big opportunity missed it to be a natural gas supplier and help a friend in need? Uh, Joe, go to you first. Well, to ask the question is to answer it. Um, you know, th this, this particular visit uh, highlighted a, a profound uh, mistake that this government has, has, has relentlessly pursued, which is to be hostile to uh, Canada's immense natural resources and block any chance to, uh, uh, to move our resources, or almost any chance to move our resources to tidewater and onto uh, offshore markets. So uh, here we, we have a situation where uh, there was an opportunity to earn tens, if not hundreds of billions of dollars and help our allies in, in dire need, uh, but we simply can't deliver. And furthermore, this government uh, has no uh, desire or intention uh, to do that. I mean, they talked about some, uh, you know, some fanciful ideas about, about hydrogen. I mean, uh, you know, maybe someday that, that will help uh, somewhat, but that's not what, uh, what Germany needs right now. Germany is, is in a crisis, um, and uh, the German economy, the biggest in, in Europe, is, is going to uh, be hit with a, with a very, bad, um, very bad economic downturn. Uh, energy prices are, are up, uh, I don't know, more than double, maybe, maybe even triple like in, in the UK. And um, uh, they're facing a, a, a terrible winter where people are going to have to choose between, uh, uh, between uh, food and heat. Um, so what what Germany needed what uh, was was obvious they needed the natural gas now to uh, uh, to substitute for the the gas that they're they're losing uh, from from Russia. Meanwhile, they're they're rushing to uh, to open up coal plants. Uh, they're trying to import uh, coal from um, uh, from Russia uh, and greenhouse gas emissions are, are, are going way up so so our policies have hurt the environment as well as Canada's national interests and the interests of our allies you know it's, it's really it, Tony I just have to jump in because it's not fair Joe not to mention that part of their crises is of their own making because at the same time they are shutting down their own nuclear plants as we speak which are completely green uh, and a decision that they made that they've decided not to reverse. So their own supply of, of consistent green energy, uh, just like we have here in Ontario with 50% of our base of energy coming from nuclear, uh, which allows us to shut down our coal plants, for example, uh, they've yeah. made a decision to shut down green and are looking for fossil fuel base. Now, I'm not suggesting that Canada shouldn't still be in the business of natural gas. I think we should be because it is still better than a lot of the oils that are being used around the world. So it's like the lesser of two evils. So yes, I believe we should still be talking about it. I'm not the energy minister, I know you were, um, but I do think that Germany really shot themselves in both feet while they've got a crisis on the go. So it's, it's not fair not to mention that, Joe. Well, I just didn't have time. I had mentioned it. In oh, because you were about to say something well, other than it's the government's fault. <laughs> no, no, no. Just a sec. I, I have mentioned that uh, repeatedly on on this this show. I think that Angela Merkel made a, a strategic error, um, a monumental error, and and. No, the current Pardon? government's been around for over a year and they have not reversed that decision. So uh, in fairness, I think they do have to clean up their own messes as well. well yeah. I don't Joe, know what, uh, Joe, you've got the floor, yeah. Okay, the well, with the fairness, yes, yeah, just, just, just uh, say. Hydrogen oh, oh. may be a solution. Yeah. Sandra, uh, Joe's got the floor, yeah. Okay, first of all, I agree completely that, that Germany brought this uh, problem on themselves and so did the rest of Europe by relying on intermittent green energy uh, rather than, um, than, than fossil fuels, which, which provide baseload, and um, a nuclear, uh, which, uh, which you mentioned it's 50% it's, it's in Ontario. Actually, it's 60% in, in Ontario, and we have one of the, the cleanest uh, energy 
uh, electricity, energy uh, production uh, systems in the entire world. Um, but, uh, you know, you know the, the, the reality that, that uh, Germany is facing, which is to a large extent their own, um, nevertheless could be alleviated uh, by Canada uh, to our economic advantage. And, and unfortunately, that didn't happen. On that note, we do have to take another break. 